Today, I'm super excited to share some incredible design resources, tools, and softwares for the month of October 2022. So without further ado, let's just get started. Before we begin to keep this series free of cost and live on this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as click on the bell icon. That means a lot to me. Before the video ends, also hit the like button to show your support. Since we're so inspired, let's check out showreels.com. This is a platform which showcases animations, UI, UX, design, branding, all that good stuff in a format like this. Very clean, very neat, and very direct. So anything related to design, you will find show reels for. And it's different from all the other resources out there. So I highly recommend go checking these out. These are incredible. Google has launched a Figma to a code plugin. Yes, this new platform is called Relay and it's still in alpha. However, it provides designers a plugin in Figma to not only hand off their designs to developers, but also very neatly and smartly display the designs along with their explanations, what should happen, your design ideas and everything so that it's communicated to the developers smartly. For example, you want an animation to play on a card. You can explain it to the developer through this plugin through the handoff. So Relay is definitely one of the most intriguing and interesting handoff tools, handoff design tools out there. It's free of cost and they already have a bunch of tutorials and learning material to get you started. So you won't be confused. Hey, what, where should I start from? So whether you're a developer or a designer, you have resources for your own platforms here as well. This is such an amazing resource for anybody who's looking to upgrade their career or start their career. This website is called how to get a job at X presented by Semplis. So, you know, it's a good trustworthy source. They have interviewed as well as taken out resources from Microsoft, Instacart, Bobby Brown, Collins, Uno, BMW, Disney. So you name the company, they have a strategic map on how to get into that company has basically interviewed people from every company, which you can imagine and taken insights from design managers, recruiters, etc., on how to get placed at companies like these. Not only that, they even give you an insight on how the company culture looks. For example, they take you through the company infrastructure and things that you can look at while you are at their campus. So you'll feel as if you're there and you're experiencing this experience there. Not only that, they've given relevant links on what resources you should check out, what learning material you should know before going to an interview, etc. You can even directly message some of these people from these amazing companies because they've given their links and they're welcoming you to message them and talk to them. Apart from that, Van Schneider has created some amazing articles, series, colors, mixtapes, as well as something called a reading club, where you can join a community of readers. We're often out of inspiration and ideas. The component gallery will really help you churn your brain. Basically on this website, you get to check out uh, different UI components and patterns used by different companies. So if you want to check out how a avatar is created in Uber, you can check out the entire design as well as the code from Uber. If you want to check out the button designs of different company, what is the button design of Atlassian? And you can check out their button designs, the code that is associated with the design system, etc from right here. So not only are they providing design inspiration, but you can quickly grab the code for these things as well. There's a quick sorting mechanism as well, as well as they have something called design system. So it's not only about components, it's also about design systems. So you can check out a lot of cool design systems that even I don't know of, which you might not know of, and really explore this website through and through. And yes, they have a dark mode, so thank God for that. And if you're lost, you can always search for any component or design system from here as well. So recently at Adobe Max, they introduced certain projects that they're working on. One of these is Project Blink, and I'm actually excited for this. It allows you to edit video on the web without even having to lift a finger because it's using AI tech to basically cut out um uh, pauses, uh, cut out various things that are not required in the video, both video as well as audio, as well as you have transcription. So if there is an interview, you'll get the transcribed version of that interview 
at the end of the interview. It also helps you create some of those clips or key moments that you want from say a video or an interview. And it that will really help a lot of content creators and designers out there as well. It also allows you to search for certain keywords. So if you want to search where someone said what, it'll allow you to do that as well. So an overall really cool project. There are a bunch of other projects under Adobe Labs. However, some of these projects require access. So you'll have to request access like a private beta of sorts. This plugin has really been trending. It's called HTML to design and it allows you to convert any website into an actual design on Figma. So all you need to do is put the URL and there you have it. You have the design created for you that people have literally uh, shown their process. I'll put something up behind me and you'll be able to see how people have converted some really fascinating websites directly into Figma with a lot of precision. It's looking really, really good. It's free of course, go check it out, HTML2 Design. Now creating websites have got, has gotten even a level easier. So if you want to design a website, Slides provides such a tool set for you, it's amazing. It basically allows you to generate websites as if you were creating a PowerPoint presentation. So basically websites which are vertically placed, however, work like presentations are really amazing. Also has some incredible templates that I was actually blown away by. Some of these designs don't look as if they're pre-built or built in a very simple tool at all. So they're using the whole concept of slides. Each slide acts as a section on your website, so as to say. And not only that, they're providing very good hosting services through static.app, which allows you to create static websites on the internet. With that, you also can get stuff like SSL certificates, a personal domain, code editor, media storage. Again, go check it out. They also have some really good learning material, learn slides framework with manuals and tutorials. What's better than that? Once again, it's super simple and it's basically a drag and drop kind of presentation kit that allows you to convert a presentation into a website. It's awesome. There are different pricing models. Zero dollars is fine if you want certain limited support. However, if you want a proper business website or agency website, you can check out their paid stuff as well. Boy, 3D cannot get more fun than this. Things.ink is a as you see is as you get kind of 3D tool. They've been super blunt. They're saying they say 3D objects should animate and work just like they are designed. Again, I feel it's more of a work in progress, but it has a bunch of other tools around just the 3D stuff. Uh, and, and it's a work in progress. So I suggest sign up for their mailing list. They'll mail you all the updates and cool stuff that you can do on their website in the future. I guess by now we all know Lottie Files. They have basically introduced some really, really cool new design updates as well as functionality updates when it comes to its Lottie editors, etc. I think it's a really cool application and it has some really cool updates in store. Just a quick shout out to Lodify. Now we all love Figma and FigJam. However, a good whiteboard tool, dedicated whiteboard tool is definitely needed. This is a superb organization productivity as well as white whiteboard tool. It's called Vizme or Vizme. There are a bunch of whiteboard templates. They have a lot of board kind of structures. So it, it, it almost feels like Asana as well as Figma had a baby together. This would be it. They have some really cool features that helps it stand out, including some integrations with tools, things like Slack, uh, MailChimp, Excel, stuff like that. So anything that derives data or holds data, you can attach it to this tool. They are also promoting this as a teaching tool so that you can use it as a whiteboard in a classroom or you can use it for UX research and stuff like that. 10X Designers is basically the design uh, platform or the design job board of the future. Basically created by Fonz Mans, he has put together this really cool website, which extracts some exclusive opportunities for designers, as well as has a talent pool. So he's collecting talent, he's giving you an opportunity as a designer to grow and be a part of this community. Now this only hosts designers who are special, unique and have talent. So if you are someone who thinks he can really diversify himself or differentiate himself or herself from everyone else, this is a platform for unique talented designers. Now this one is my favorite of the week, I'd say, or even the month. It's called Shorter. And I've been using it on my Mac ever since I've downloaded it to create some 
beautiful, beautiful screenshots. As designers, we take so many screenshots. Screenshots for design, screenshots for someone else's design. And this really helps you not only take amazing, brilliant screenshots, but also take out what colors are used in that screenshot. Also be able to annotate over that those screenshots, be able to save it to the cloud, be able to, be able to edit right there and they have hotkey support. They even have some unique features apart from the screenshot. You can use it as a screen ruler. You can zoom in on any area. It even has text recognition as well as QR recognition. So if you're trying to do that, it's possible here. It also has a lot of custom shortcuts that you can either assign it or it has some default shortcuts. You just press some stuff on your keyboard and it is activated. You don't even have to open it as an application. The developer has been so kind to even release its dev notes. So if you're someone who likes to know what they're getting into, the progress of an application, etc., this can be super useful. Again, it's Mac only. So uh, yeah, we're not talking about it anymore. I hope you like this month's edition. If you did, hit the like button. Apart from that, if you ever want to submit anything, anything that you feel the public would like any tool that maybe even you are working on or anything i have a form in the description so go ahead fill that form if you have any tool that maybe you want me to check out maybe you want me to review i'm 100 percent open to that as well so i'll see you next time same place same time every week until next time take care god bless